If you're a complete beginner and you don't know much about computers, but you want to start creating music or perhaps maybe start your own YouTube channel and edit videos, I would in almost all cases highly suggest that you go for a uh, Mac Morning. using uh, one of the M time type ARM CPUs. But if you ask me this for, let's say, 10 years ago, my answer would probably be completely different. And it sort of boils down to this. You don't have to buy the most expensive Mac anymore to actually get some serious work done. I have had the M3 MacBook Air 16 gigabyte for a while when I was between sort of uh, laptops and it was perfectly capable of handling most of my music production needs without any hiccups and sometimes use CPU heavy plugins as well. And you can see videos on my channel where I show that off. And editing high bitrate 4K videos from this camera here was also not a problem. Naturally, if I start stacking video streams, it might start hicking up of course but uh, just editing a talking head video like this not an issue at all and everything was just working fine with the free version of uh, DaVinci Resolve and uh, I have shown this in countless of videos on my channel and you can check them out the efficiency of Apple's new CPU architecture is the main reason I uh, feel so confident in recommending uh, going the Apple route for most people creative people this may also save you some money now I know that saving money and Apple is not really too words do you say at the same time but what I mean with that is that you don't have to max out the spec to get something that can get your work done whereas 10 years ago this was probably more the case when you had to go for Intel for example so this now means that Apple is controlling almost all aspects of your computer from the uh, silicon to the software as well that Apple can optimize their software to their hardware and by doing so, those systems will be more efficient, perform better in comparison to, for example, Windows and the PC world where you have to sort of account for all types of different hardware, software and uh, configurations. So all this coupled with that a Mac is extremely easy to use. For a beginner, you don't have to think much about setting it up when you get it. It sort of works straight out of from the box. If you, I mean, know your email passwords, it will set everything up for you and accounts and everything. You also don't usually don't have to think about drivers and stuff like that it sort of happens automatically just let it update once in a while and it integrates perfectly with everything apple wise if you have an iphone or any other apple devices and you're inside this sort of walled garden where you are perhaps a bit more protected compared to windows could be discussed perhaps but it makes a mac a really good choice in my opinion in my heart i am a pc guy i am or at least was gamer now i just occasionally game and I want to give you some reasons for perhaps going the PC route could be a better choice for some people. The biggest reason for getting a PC is that you can configure it as much as you want. When you buy something from Apple, you have to decide at the point of purchase how much memory you need, how much storage you need, how fast your CPU should be, all of that. This is not something you can change after the fact when you have bought a Mac. And you have to stick with what you got or uh, you have to buy a completely new Mac if you, God forbid, have to change something, upgrade the memory, upgrade the storage or something like that. Or you can use an external drive, but that's of course a hassle as well. So with a PC, you can sort of start off with a cheaper build with less memory, storage and CPU. And uh, I mean, if you need more of any of this down the line, it's easy to upgrade just that part you need afterwards without having to for example buy a completely new PC again. Upgrading for example storage won't really break your bank and if you need want to do this uh, at Apple you have to expect to pay premium prices. With a PC build you can select the, exactly the parts you want yourself. Do you want a high performance but silent PC? Well there are parts that will accommodate that. Or if you want a smaller build you can build a small full form factor PC which will sit nicely on a small desk while still having a good balance between performance and noise. And we can't forget the fact that building your own system from scratch which is what I recommend doing or maybe even making someone else build it for you, you get that sort of warm fuzzy feeling that this is something I have made myself and configured to my specific needs. This is sort of a big reason for me going the PC route and it's actually the main reason of why I still are into PC because I like building them, I like configuring them, yeah all of that. You can also play all games on a PC 
while Macs are getting more and more capable of gaming, it's probably not you're going something you're going to play G GTA 6 on or the latest Call of Duty or something like that. Uh, while Macs are getting more and more capable of gaming with uh, its game porting toolkit and the push Apple is doing in this field, they are not near the fluidity and the performance you get from a real PC build with a uh, real uh, GPU you can select yourself. If you go the PC route, there are also some things you need to stay on top of. For example, drivers, uh, updating drivers, software and BIOS, stuff like that. That's something you need to do yourself. It's not something you really need to worry about a lot, of course, but uh, it's something you need to know about. And you might also have to buy more software for example if I want to edit videos like this one I am making here I need I actually need to buy the professional version of DaVinci Resolve if I want it to work uh, well on Windows if not it won't be able to handle these video files I am uh, feeding it with with the free version at least it won't be able to utilize the full power of the GPU if I use the free version while on the Mac this works with the free version of DaVinci Resolve I am assuming now probably because uh, systems like these are more built into the core of the Mac OS uh, system. With a PC you can use the operating system you want. If you want to use uh, Linux you can do that or if you want to use Windows that's no problem. And um, one thing I remember is when Windows 10 just came out it was I was actually really pleasantly surprised on how lean and fast Windows 10 actually was. I remember we started recommending people to install Windows 10 on slow machines and it, will it would just breathe new life into it. It was really optimized and lean and uh, yeah, it worked really well. Unfortunately, it didn't take long until Microsoft added more and more bloat and telemetry to Windows and ads actually, which is my opinion, it just reduces the performance of the system. I think that actually Windows is evolving backwards software-wise in terms of that, which is a shame really because <laughs> we we could see how good Windows actually could be uh, a few years ago, and now there are, I mean, there are tools that can de-bloat Windows and make it leaner, but you shouldn't really have to run tools like this, in uh, my opinion. And another reason for perhaps going for PC, or you could do a go for a Mac Studio, but if you need to be able to run enormous projects with hundreds or maybe thousands of tracks, for example, music production projects, on the PC side, you could uh, perhaps look at the AMD Threadripper, the, uh, for example, the 7970X CPU, which is, has a good balance between cores and uh, clock speed. But I mean, the price of that CPU starts at uh, almost $2,800, at least here in Norway. And that's before you have added all the other parts. And you could look at uh, being uh, well above $8,000 for a, a complete system. But I mean, if you use it for a tool, that's just a um, point in your finances and not really that important. If you need to customize the system, if you need to add more memory without having to pay like uh, $5,000 for more memory, going the uh, PC route could uh, be a good choice. But in the end, I think that most beginners can safely go for the Macs that are available today. But I mean, if you need more customization and or if you want to game a lot, at the same time, a well-optimized PC build can also be a good choice. What do you think about this? Share your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.